October 1st. $8.39 may not seem like a lot, but that amount of money taught me something very important about Jesus. It all happened when I was 10 years old. I had just gotten a brand new baseball for my birthday and was playing catch outside with my friend. Sadly, I threw the ball a little too hard and he didn't catch it. As I rushed inside, I realized that I had not only broken the window that led to our dining room, but also my mother's favorite vase. The window could be fixed, but the vase was so special to my mother. It would cost so much money to replace. My mother said that I would have to pay money out of my allowance until I could afford to replace the window and the vase. I knew this was going to take forever. I would have to save my allowance money every week for the next 100 years in order to pay for it. I would never be able to pay the price for what I had done. A couple of weeks later, I was in my room. My mother came in and asked how much I had saved to replace what was broken. I told her I had $8.39, nowhere near enough. Then my mother said something I'll never forget. She said that she was going to pay for those items and I was forgiven of the money I owed. I couldn't believe it. Even though I had been the one who had done wrong, my mother was going to pay the price for me. I was so happy I gave my mom a big hug and I asked her, why would you pay for something I did wrong? She explained to me a story from the Bible. A long time ago, the very first people who ever lived, Adam and Eve, did something that God told them not to do. This was called sin. Because of their sin, they could no longer be friends with God. Since then, everyone is born with sin, so we can't be friends with God either. But God loves us so much, and He wants to be our friend. So He planned for someone to pay the price for all the wrong things we've done. God sent His only Son, Jesus, to live a perfect life on earth. Then Jesus took the punishment for the wrong things we've done by dying on a cross. This was the only way to fix our friendship with God. Because I believe that Jesus died for my sins, God has forgiven me. Everything wrong that I've done and anything that I ever will do is erased in God's eyes. Knowing that my mother was going to pay for the broken window and vase made me very happy. But knowing that Jesus paid the price for my sin made me even happier. I never wanted to forget this lesson I learned, so I have kept this $8.39 in my safe. That way, I can always remember what Jesus did for me and the great reward He has for me when I search for and follow Him.
guess what? God loves you and wants to be your friend. John 3.16 says, God loved the people of this world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who has faith in him will have eternal life and never really die. You can't be friends with God because of your sin. Ecclesiastes 7.20 says, Not a single person on earth is always good and never sins. What is sin? Sin is doing or thinking something that God says is wrong. God made a way for you to be his friend. He sent Jesus from heaven to earth to take the punishment for all of your sin. Just knowing about Jesus is not enough to fix your friendship with God. You need to admit you have done wrong things and you are truly sorry. Believe in your heart that Jesus died for you and that God brought him back to life. And commit to following Jesus as the leader and Lord of your life forever.